earth signs to your monthly sharper reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Welcome Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Getting straight into your energy. Let's see what you have in common and what you need to work on for your chakras or see what's coming around for you, right? Okay, let's see. Best message coming out is impatience. Ooh, feeling a little impatient at this time. It feels like you're probably waiting for some manifestation to come through, waiting for some gift, waiting for something or maybe someone. Um, and it's feeling like, oh, I want it so bad. I'm trying to stand up here and grab this, but I cannot do it. Um, Spirit says it's time to use some patience. Patience is a virtue. We've all heard that. You all know that saying. Sometimes we feel like if we don't take care of it, it'll never happen. So, but rushing after it is not going to be the way to get this done, right? Am I jumping the gun? Am I honest with myself? Am I forcing something to happen before it's time or trying to, <clears throat> right? Being exhausted by your efforts, success through patience, unfolding revelation and success, waiting for those things to happen, okay? Can't really jump the gun. Some things you can't really, you know, your impatience is not going to really do anything anyways, right? Because it's going to happen when it's going to happen. So really finding the balance within yourself. Okay. This card is literally talking about the balance, right? This is talking about the required somewhere within your life is your mastering balance is certainly at work in, prog in progress and a powerful master key to more harmonious and enjoyable in an enjoyable life. We live in the physical world of polar, right? We have the day, we have the night, we have the negative, we have the positive, the hot, the cold. Okay. But the forces of nature are constantly working towards a state of balance in everything that we do. Living a life of balance is the ultimate goal. When you can walk your path with no judgment and release that everything has an opposite, life becomes less stressful and flows with ease and grace. You may be feeling out of whack of the late because of your impatience. So your impatience is actually taking you out of the flow, right? It's time to take a moment, put yourself back into, into balance by focusing on other things. Besides just the thing that you are waiting for, right? So it is time to balance yourself. Instead of being so impatient, just let it flow, let it go, right? That's the trust. Yes, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Having the trust that, you know what, I don't have to be impatient. I trust that it's going to come at the right time. I trust in the universe that this is making its way to me. I trust, right? And if it doesn't happen, then it's probably not happening because it's, you know, it's not good for me. So it either is or it's not. It's a double-edged sword, right? But at least you can trust in the process. Trust everything's going to be okay no matter what the scenario is. Whether you have it or you don't have it, trust that it's doing its job the way it needs to do its job for your own benefit. Okay, so spend time with animals will help you or outdoors, doing things of this nature. Get your mind. All it's really saying is get your mind somewhere else. So that way you're not just over here going, I want, I want, come on, come on, because it's not going to help you. It causes all those negative things again. Eight of swords, nine of swords, I can't sleep, restlessness, keeping yourself out of balance. So focus something else is pretty much what it's saying. Humpback well, music is essential essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. That's another thing that can what? Self-care. Keep you interested and keep your mind somewhere else. Right? Set it and forget it. Let it flow. Let it go. All those wonderful words we hear, right? All these beautiful words. And, you know, and that's really what it is. It's just having that trust that whatever is going to happen will be for my best. If you know that it's happening and you're just really impatient, you're really wanting this to come because you know it's already here, still the same. 
accept your inner voice and always guide, you know, because it's always guiding you correctly. It's just and your inner voice in this situation is really just going to be trusting the universe that is coming when it's supposed to, doing what it's supposed to be doing, and uh, calm. Calm yourself. Balance yourself. Go outside. Put your focus somewhere else. Trust that I have this. You're not in control. You are a co-creator. You're not the creator, right? I will help you. And trust that if it doesn't come, something else will happen, right? I will give you something that's better for you. I won't give you this, but I'll give you this instead because this is better for you. So trust that no matter what, the universe is always working for you. They want you to have the better things, but you need to focus somewhere else. Keep yourself balanced. Okay, let's go. Yes, justice, balance again. There it is. The truth and clarity will set you free through the equality of the balance. Like I said, a lot of you are probably manifesting and, you know, our law, you know, law and attracting, you know, things that you want into your life, waiting for your goal, waiting for your dream, waiting for this, you know, whether it's a job, a person, this, that, an inheritance, whatever it is. But, you know, you just need to keep yourself as calm as possible. There will be fairness within the within the universe to the situation. That's why I said, maybe they won't give you this, but I'll give you this instead because this is fair. This is right. This is good for you. So sometimes we're impatient about things that we think we're going to have and you, it might not even be 100% that <sighs> we've all been there, done that one, right? <laughs> yes, I see that page of cups. Giving yourself other creative opportunities. This is where I'm looking into this cup and I'm looking at other things that I can be focused on at this time. Dreaming about what it is I want to dream about, but also knowing that, you know what, as I keep myself over here, it's keeping my balance going. Because like I said, set it and forget it, right? And this is going to keep me happy in other areas. Because then I won't be stressed out and be so impatient about waiting for this thing to come in. Right? And this gives you the hope and the calm, and that's on that trust again. In fact, we could even put the star on the trust because that's really what it is. It's talking about, you know, using the time to spend with animals and being outside and, you know, doing your other things that take your mind off of that and give you more patience, right, is, right, renewing your health, healthy mental emotions, having faith and calm and trust. To the situation, get a star card anyways. It's saying your dream is coming true. So it's pretty much saying trust the dream is coming true. Keep yourself balanced and hopeful and calm through the situation. And the humpback well is definitely the ten of swords. Keeping yourself away from that, um, right, that feeling of um, just like, oh, right? Oh, I can't move. I've been, you know, putting yourself against the wall. Putting your own swords in yourself saying, God, I hope this is it. Because really what it is, is impatience is defeating yourself. Because you're putting yourself through all these swords, right? Like I said, the insomnia, the, you know, the uh, sleepless nights, the restless energy, the worry of, is it coming, is it not coming? I don't know, but I'm, I'm really, you know, really, blah, 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 blah. right? Mind confusions. So it really is just taking away all of those swords, taking away all those things that cause us grief and an imbalance. Okay. Very beautiful. Yeah. This says, yeah, I'll get ready to move. Get ready to move. Right? Leave behind the impatience so that you can get the reward because the reward is coming. We already see the star card. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You're already the nine of pentacles. You're already there. You're just waiting. So have the mental clarity and understanding to know that, you know what, every time I feel impatience about the situation, it's not making it move any faster. It's not making it move any slower because it's doing what it wants to do. Actually, what it's doing to me, you see what I'm saying? It's just doing all this harm to me, mentally, emotionally, right? Because it's not doing nothing. It's moving at the pace it wants to move at. Okay. So always look for the good, even in the most difficult situations. So you're just going to look at the good. You're going to go out and going to sing, dance, do the things that you need to do. Live your life. 
as if this is not coming. Make it more like a happy surprise with the page of with the page of cups because you know what? Once we forget about it, it will be a happy surprise because then all of a sudden you'll say, "Oh my gosh, I forgot about that!" Oh shit! So it is a happy surprise. So you say, happy, sometimes happy surprises is because we just forget. And that's kind of the best thing and it wants you to do. It just wants you to go live your life, do the things you do while you're waiting for this cherry to come through. Right? So you're waiting for this gift. Learn and grow from the wisdom of your feelings by allowing yourself to befriend rather than deny them. You can kind of, yeah, it's like you're befriending yourself by saying, I'm not going to worry. Trust in the divine order. You are being helped. There it is. <laughs> Right there, like, thank you. There it is. Yeah, it, it shows your wishes coming in. It's just that it's all within the certain timing, and everybody's timing is a little bit different. But like I said, worrying about it is not going to do anything because it might be, you might be impatient, and you might be waiting six months for something. Guys, you guys really going to sit over here and balance for six months? Worried and stressed out? I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Oh, it's not this week. And then you're going to get down sad because it didn't happen yet. What if it takes six months? What if it takes six weeks? What if it takes six days? If I for set it and forget it, it'll be here in no time. Because even six months won't feel like six months when you don't feel like you're waiting on something. It's kind of like watching the clock. Has ever watched the clock and realized when I'm watching the clock, oh my God, time won't go. It's so slow. Because time doesn't really exist anyways. And then sometimes you can turn around and look at the clock and you're like, oh my God, I don't have time for this. Everything's going so fast. But in seriousness, everything's really the same. It's the way you're moving and the way you're thinking. So if you just let it go, like I said, it'll become more of a happy surprise. Because you don't know when the timing 100% is anyways. Unless you do know the timing and you say, no, my inheritance is supposed to be here next week, Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, fine. Don't worry about it. You know it's going to be here Wednesday and blah, blah, blah. Why are you worried about it? Why are you making yourself impatient when you know you have to wait till Wednesday anyways? Well, you, Wednesday's not going to come any faster because you worried about it. See what I'm, do you see the point? You see that point? It doesn't, it's, you didn't make Wednesday come today, but you're going to worry and stress about it, right? Through impatience. And sometimes it's that over happy feeling, right? It could even be that kind of like, uh, oh my God, the kids, it's Christmas, ah! right? But that doesn't make Santa come any faster, right? You're going to get those out there when you're going to get up there. And not only that, you're going to wake those kids up when, you, when you're ready or not let them wake up until it's time for them to wake. You see what I'm saying? When it's time. So, you know, them sitting around waiting and doing whatever they're going to do, it doesn't make it do anything. If anything, that just makes us have to get up and stay up later. Thank you, my kids. I'm going to sit up and wait for Santa until 1130 at night. Oh, my God. I am going to be up until 3 to 4 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Wasted in the morning. <laughs> Hold on, kids. Mom really needs coffee. Why are you so tired? I watch you go to bed at 8 o'clock. <laughs> oh, when you have kids, you'll know. Oh, I love you, kids. Oh, my God. Yeah, Christmas was always like... My kids, they're just always like... You know, you put them to bed at 7 and they're up at 11. And you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. So you're like, okay, I'm going to bed. You're like laying there going, are they asleep? They're making this process hard. <coughs> so funny. kids. I love kids. Oh, my kids, oh my gosh. Yeah. Christmas morning, it was like, open up all the gifts by 9 a.m. You're like, I'm going back to bed. Right? Kids have fun doing whatever you're doing. So, but yes, it doesn't do anything, right? It's another one of those worries that don't do anything. So watch your impatience, my friends. Everything's going to be fine, okay? One way or the other. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.